Ah, here we go. Welcome back, back to the disc world. Ah, uh, well. Ah! Uh, so you're gonna see me just kind of get into an area where I'm not used to playing. As a matter of fact, where is the disc world to uh, walk through at? Okay, let's see. I've been the Firefox new folder for everything gets gets dumped into now. Okay, it's not there. Is that right? Yeah, let's go to walk through Disc World 2 Flower. It's Adventure Games. Game. Next three. Which is what again? That just says X3. Come die with me. Just kind of cartwheel? Oh, yeah. The Grim Rinse Wind. Get the bunny, get the string, leave the room. This is very, very. Oh. Oh, I do have it saved. So what I'll do here is shrink that down, put that over here. Yeah. So I don't need to see. Am I recording? Yeah. Uh, let's bring the volume up on Discord a bit. I turned it down for Mega Man Mega I was complaining about a bad work day. I'm also forgetting that I actually already had a Mega Man Maker video done for this week. Uh, stay tuned for the end. I will talk about another. All right, so. I'll pick them all up, but then I'll just be grasping at straws. Get it? Grasping at, <laughs> all right, all right, I apologize, all right? As I recall for this, Rincewind's got to dress up like death. Oh, yeah, there's got to be a key under the mat, even in death's domain. domain. Hey, there's a little key under it. I don't need a key to get through death's door. Mm. These curtains are certainly animated differently than all these other ones, so I guess I better. Nice grab and black. <laughs> no, I've actually only ever played through this game all the way through one time, I believe. It rains here. Actually, there's no umbrella, just an old scythe. Now we're cooking with charcoal. With this, I'll really feel the goods. Death's golf bag? Yeah, I'm not sure I want to see what the balls are like. The skull cliche is growing very old very fast. Where they tell that to Stone Cold Steve Austin? He's still doing it to this day. Oh no, is that Jumbo's foot? Jumbo the elephant's foot! Uh, hello, Bob and Dom. Jumbo the elephant speaking. I didn't even have to hold my nose. Oh, I'm not really a golf sort of person. Actually, I'm surprised Death had the time. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Go all the way up here just to say that. Oh. Hello. Who are you? What do you want? Yeah, that's right. Look, um, I'm here to become Death. You what? You know, Death. The Pale Horseman talks like this. Very oh big in the hourglass and scythes department. You? Oh, not for long. 
just until himself gets back. I have to fill in for a while, you know, get the backlog moving, that sort of thing. Got the faintest idea how to do it, have you? Um, well, I suppose so. We got standards to maintain, mister. We takes a pride in our work. I ain't having you letting the side down. Listen, you got to be up to snuff before you can be deaf. Now, do you mean? Well, you got to be able to ride the pale horse. And you got to wear the right clothes. Deaf wouldn't be seen getting anything but a black robe. Yeah, you'll need a scythe and a capital letter voice. Something chilling. Is that all? You want more? Get on with it. Oh, goody. Another quest. I'm just flotsam on the sea of life. Yeah, stop sniffling and get on with it. Yeah, um, I just took a really, oh, I just kind of glanced over the word horseman and saw something in the word horseman that I have not seen in my entire life before until now. I'm not too sure what the oily rag is for. Ah. Uh, Get your thieving hands right. off. That is for tea time. But this is death's kingdom. Time never passes here. I never said tea time would be soon. Death's sugar bowl. Those who say you catch more flies with this stuff than with vinegar obviously haven't tried tasting death's version of sugar lamps. Actually, you don't seem to be able to ring them from here. The bells, the bells, they never stop ringing. Sorry, I got carried away for a moment. Oh, man, what's a good bell song that I know? I don't think of anything. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Um, okay, there's a reason why I was supposed to be uh, up there by the golf bag. Get the shirt, but I guess, um, hmm. oh, I get it. I'm supposed to. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is when I'm in another room is to. Where's the bunny? I get the right one. Uh, go to the exit opposite the golf bag. Get the inkwell. No thanks, I'm trying to... Take the exit nearest golf bag, get the bunny, get the string, leave the room. There must be a... Am I missing a detail? What's going on here? Too heavy. <laughs> Try 
trying to figure out where the inkwell is at. I should have did this early. Yeah, I thought so. I'll just sneak a look. Let's see. The last entry is Fool and Chucky. Hmm. The last column hasn't been checked off yet. The previous entry says Scazzy's Ants. Well, at least they're all correct and accounted for. Poor little souls. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to ring this. I wonder what this does. I think she have to go find. Oh. Let's just leave him. Around here somewhere. Uh, sugar. I guess I'll need to win his confidence first. Oh, yeah. Sugar. Yeah, it's a gift of horse cavities. That's a good binky. Diabetes. There, I think he likes me now. I can ride! I can ride! yippee ki yi yay sir. But I did it, see? I passed the test. Yeah, so I see. Shall I prize the saddle from your flesh now, sir? Or later? The trouble with you, Albert, is you have no sense of fun. I'll laugh when I'm prizing you out of that saddle, my friend. stuck to his rope. Yeah, for those who might not know, Albert is actually a, a wizard who used to be at Unseen University, but he got caught by uh, death and has been deaf servant ever since. Okay, go to the garden. Got a better idea. I'll go out there and play the game, and you come in here and risk life and limb, okay? Oh, yeah. 
double click the bunny. Oh. I wonder what's inside. Okay. Matches on the only rag. Blue bees now. Well, at least it isn't an undergarment this time. Ooh, well, I this should do the. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube shorts about this woman in Texas that just occasionally will smoke the bees, but she'll just just reach in and scoop them out. Ah. Uh... I'll just sneak a little honey. They'll never notice. Ooh. Okay, I remember this. This should really blacken the water. Now, this really is blacker than black. Maybe someone's fixed Death's little red wagon. You want that? Susan, that's her name. Well, this is tough. Oh. Okay. My, what a lovely toy cart. You can't have it. Oh, please. Oh, all right then. But get me another toy first. One of the autobiographies from the Hall of Records should do. Something to laugh at. Laugh? Those are people's life stories we're talking about here. Real tragedies, hopes, you know, dreams, triumphs and aspirations. How can you possibly find them amusing? I was thinking of yours. That should be a laugh. Just bring it here once you've found it. Yeah. <laughs> You're a fluke of the universe. My life biography. Big print version, easy to read. You're just a fluke. Of the universe, they're laughing behind your back. There. My ongoing life story. Are you satisfied? Oh, look. An autobiography with join the dot pictures. That's a catalogue of all my hopes and dreams, all my achievements. You treat it with just a little bit of respect, young lady. Oh, look. Here's your thought for the day. Ah, what does it say? Actually, the line is blank. Give it back. Some people just don't appreciate quality literature. Now, just tell me something else you'll take in trade. Anything but the story of my life. All right. Go get me one of the really old biographies, then. One of those ones with pictures. They're kept in a locked, dark room somewhere inside. Tasks I'm supposed to do is collect a bunch of hmm. souls. Little dots. Little dots, each with six little legs. Ooh, I hate to know what I'll catch. I'll need to aim more accurately. Later on. 
Yeah, how am I supposed to how I'm supposed to fit it? That's right, because you are told to do this stuff. Oh, I need to go get a really old book. Nope, can't budge it. Yeah, can't budge it because there's no budget. Put that key underneath the mat. Oh, let's see. Just leave. Okay, so supposed to use it on the wax? Now a candle. I'm supposed to grab these wax. It's kind of like a repeat of it, of uh, chapter one. Well, this should do the trick. Oh. I'll just grab some wax. Oh. Mixing that with the wax won't help me. Now we're cooking. For some reason, didn't have to grab any string from... Act one. I don't think got any string. This tablet isn't so much written in pictographs as bad stick figure drawings describing pictographs. Meaning it's either a caveman's biography or a graphic novel. I suppose either one should do just fine. That's kind of like a thing, you know, you watch those original He-Man. You know something's going to move in the background because it's coloured very, very differently. to the background. Now to walk all the way back, I guess I gotta go back to Susan. help at all. I don't know if the voices in the background are getting picked up. <laughs> there. Are you satisfied? Perfectly. Use it like a chair this one's much better than yours. Here's the cart to play with. 
Let me know when you turn up in court. Don't you think I'd better show the site to Albert first? Go back to the house. I'm just about done. Oh, I gotta go to the cornfield. There we are. Read it and reap, Albert. See? A size. Oh, we are, Mr. Clever, aren't we? I suppose you've got some idea about how to use it? Well, of course I can use a scythe. You just sort of, um... Yeah, well, I'm sure I'll get the swing of it. It will just take a bit of practice. Not inside where you'll scar my woodwork. Take it outside and weep the field. When that's done, then perhaps you might have enough skill to go and reap some souls. You know, if I end up in charge, your job is definitely one for downsizing. Let's see. There we go. Light not only simply falls into it, but it doesn't even get a chance to scream. Hmm, yes. Well, the cut could be better. Albert! Oh, very well. I suppose beggars can't be choosers. I think I can wedge this in at the front. Still gotta show Albert the ants. Yeah, I go reap the field. But I still wanna have time to tell this story. I'm gonna go back outside again. You know, I think I've seen this in the clickies. Well, at least I've proved I can use the voice. I think that's the last thing I gotta do. Let's see, I'm taking a look at the next chapter. 
Yes, I saved that one for last. I'll just get myself set up in here ha! for a while. An entire field of corn reaped. Yeah, I've got you trembling now, eh? I'm apocalypse material now. Oh, indeed, sir. You're gonna strike fear and trembling into blades of grass everywhere. Right. I've ridden the horse, got the clothes, the voice, the scythe, the moves. Nah, nah, hold on. Being deaf isn't like delivering the papers. No, no, no. I can't let you go out hacking and slaying wholesale until you've had a trial run. Start small, mister. Collect hundred souls first, and then maybe you'll be ready to get out there and slay them. A hundred souls? Right now? Yep. Couldn't we, you know, just come to an arrangement? Come on, ten gold pieces as we just, you know, forget all about it and get on with the story. Bribery, eh? Trying to buy your way out of a quest? Where would we be if everyone tried that, eh? Fine, right, well, let's go get 100 lovely souls for Albert and the principle of complicated gaming, eh? Bye-bye, mister. Don't trip and decapitate yourself on the way out. Ah, the gentleman from the Assassin's Guild. Do please come in and abase yourself at the edge of the yellow line. Now, come closer while I explain. Hmm. Not that close. Not that close. Oh, sorry. Now look, I want someone removed. A potential troublemaker. Somebody who's become too popular for his, or should I say, my good. And there has to be no way of connecting myself with his demise. Say no more, sir. Say no more. We shall strike like the subtle hand of doom, leaving nothing but weeping in our wake. For you see, we are the night. You are? I thought you were the Assassin's Guild. Ah, well, we are the Assassin's Guild, but we are also the night. So, in fact, you're that period of the diurnal rhythm defined by darkness, are you? So, nighttime thefts, muggings, murders, and overnight cart parking in restricted zones. We can just start billing the Assassin's Guild directly, can we? No more fussing about with tax collectors and fines. Uh, wh what? But, but just because we are the night doesn't mean that we're responsible for the night. Well, if you are it, then you have to control it. And if you control it, then you're responsible for it. This seems eminently sensible. I have a few thousand unpaid bills we can send your way by tomorrow. Uh, no, 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 no. N now look. All right. Um, we aren't ah the night, but we are of the night. Of the night. So we, we are an integral part of the night, without assuming any controlling or otherwise responsible position. So, whereas we can assume custodianship of unpaid bills, this will only be as a, a, a storage facility, a favor to you, my lord, until we find someone who utterly encompasses all aspects of the night, whereupon we can pass the bills on to him. Oh, very well. So, in the meantime, just get on with this They're new job. Good BS and don't mess it up like you did with the Fool's Guild last time. Uh, now's a good time to save. I haven't done that in a while. Right. Oh, and this next one for the first sergeant's follies. Oh boy. Already at three, four minutes. I don't want to take ten minutes explaining this, but this is going to be kind of a continuation of watching somebody lose credibility. Uh. So another.
not a part of the army as when I was talking about affiliated groups, we also have this thing called the overweight program. If you're overweight or failing PT tests and stuff like that, you get put on this program where you have to do extra PT and stuff like that. In order to get your weight down. Wow. This first sergeant decided that he uh, really got to hate people who were fat. You know, the fatty, fat, 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 fatties. And one day, right out in front of formation, this would have been December, he said that he will cancel the leave, the Christmas leave, of all soldiers who are overweight. Uh, oh, I just noticed the death chime there. <laughs> um, that sounded kind of funny to me. There, I'm going to go look that up later. And when I did look it up later, it turned out, yeah, no, you can't. And of course, this was a thing for a sergeant who would get up right in front of formation and brag about calling the inspector general to see if he can do stuff. Because apparently he said that there were a lot of people calling the IG, asking if he can do this or that. And of course, he would always say, yeah, the IG has me 100%. That's right, I can do whatever I want. I'm the first sergeant and the IG has my back. First of all, first sergeant, you should never have to call the Inspector General to see if you can do stuff. <coughs> and, well, no one had their leave canceled. Then I found out later, he decided that he was going to do a weigh-in of all the uh, disgusting fat bodies. And he came into that room, into the conference room, and said that he will send everybody who has not made any improvement since the, since the last weigh-in or something, or has not made any improvement at all, he's got, oop, send them to a demotion board that Friday, I think. And some of these dates I remember quite well. I, I just remember the time of the month, December, and I know that was like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, and they do it on Friday. Some soldiers came up to me because I was the barracks lawyer. Plus, also at the time, I was like one of the few people with an internet connection and had access to all the army ranks. So I'd have to look that up and see what's going on. And I did. And the process is you're supposed to give a verbal warning about going to a demotion board and then a, a written warning. It's a process that takes about 30 days, not three. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So, that's one of the issues I told my dad about what was going on. He said, yeah, sounds like a first sergeant I had at one time who'd go out there and say all kinds of crazy things. And then I'd go up to him after formation and say, hey, first sergeant, you can't say that. Well, my dad was E7 at the time, so he could get away with talking to a first sergeant like that. And... Oh, what was I going to say? Yeah. And the first sergeant said, yeah, I know that. You know that. They don't know that. Well, by about my time, guess what? Internet and computers were getting to be pretty common among the soldiers. Everybody had, everybody was like a gamer. They had World of Warcraft. My good friend Rosie had a Warcraft account who would like to, you know, create very beautiful looking girls, you know? Her being a lesbian, she, she, she agreed with me. I'd rather look at a, at a girl's ass than a guy's ass, but anyway. Yeah, we all, most of us, a lot of us had computers. I told him, hey, you gotta go look it up for yourself. I'm gonna look it up. And, and yeah, you know, nobody got sent to a, dem to a demotion board. And <sighs> here's the deal. Even if he did do it, even if he had done it the right way, he still would not be able to demote anybody for being overweight or maintaining a proper military appearance. Why? Because he had not been doing his job the previous six months or more. Six, eight months. Because during that time period, almost nobody in at least my company had had, had, had I think everybody at least had their blood drawn or some, I know a couple of soldiers in my platoon did because I took them over there. I supervised him, but after that, 
Yeah, it seems like nutrition counseling mm, didn't happen. Uh, things like monthly weigh and tape did not happen at all for over six months. So this first sergeant went out there in front of formation, in front of not just you know, us soldiers, but in front of all the senior NCOs, all the officers, to Captain XO, everybody, and made a bunch of threats that he was unable to carry out. Yeah, really lost a credibility like that. I mean, his credibility just went. <laughs> well, he just, you know, he shitted on himself. Is what happened. 40 minutes, oh boy, I gotta stop talking here. And, well, he didn't go to Afghanistan with us. He wound up getting cycled out because of a bad arm that got injured in Iraq. Yeah, you would think that somebody who's an EA would know better, but nope. We just had like a long, uh, the next guy after him wasn't all that much better. But anyway, 40 minutes, time to call it quits. Double check and make sure this game is saved. <laughs>